Ted Parker to be successful in what we're trying to accomplish for our city, for our state. I want to take time to recognize some of those key partners this morning. One is the World Metro Council. Uh, they work with us and support us. If you're a member of the Metro Council, would you please stand and be recognized? Let's show our appreciation for that. Thank you for your leadership in this community and even your time to serve. Also, we have meetings with Kevin Gerald Sidney here today. Really? And I appreciate what they do. In fact, uh, they did some remarkable things before they went home this session, helping us with cards and some opportunities and things and some texting. So I want to say that publicly. I really appreciate their leadership and their support. If you're a member of the Kentucky General Assembly, would you please stay? I'll also recognize you. Thank you for your service and time. We also have uh, some representatives and staffs here at the various congressional offices. If you're one of those individuals representing the members of Congress, if you would stand, I'll also recognize you as well. Thank you. Local, city, and state government will be successful in national deal work to do things. We also have several constitutional officers with us today. If you're a constitutional officer, would you please stand? Say why, constitutional officer, I'll just recognize you too. We also have several people from Frankfurt, various cabinet secretaries and deputy secretaries. If you're one of the cabinets, would you please stand and be recognized? Our area works with all these different agencies. It takes everyone again pulling together to be supported and make things happen. There's another group here today that uh, I want to take a moment to recognize. And that's our clients. That's our guests. That's the people that use these properties. And working with our sales teams, there are several of those here today. Would you please stand and let us show appreciation for your business and using these facilities. If you're one of our guests here today as a client, please stand and allow us to recognize you. Being here and being supportive, we wouldn't be these facilities. So thank you for doing business with us. And we're glad that you're here today. I hope you enjoy this tour and see the improvements and enhancements that have been made to all these different properties. Also, I want to recognize the Kentucky Communities Board of Directors, often known as the State Fair Board. Uh, they provide the governance and, and the support for what we do on a daily basis. I ask the members of that board, if you please stand and allow us to recognize you. Members of the Kentucky Communities Board of Directors, you would please stand. Thank you for giving your time and your leadership to be involved. You know, it takes a lot of people to operate this property as well as the Expo Center. We have a number of my colleagues here today, too. I'd like to recognize them. If you're an employee, a colleague at KIC or the Expo Center, would you please stand and allow us to recognize you, too, for your service? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of the service, the people you recognize, and me behind the scenes. Some were here pretty much all night last night, finishing up cleaning, getting ready for this event today. We appreciate you. But they are the face of our, of our facilities. They're the face in the, in the handshake and, and the follow through and the commitment of our city when they work with our clients and take care of the business here. So we really appreciate them and all that they do on a daily basis. Let me share a little bit about our vision. We share with the board, we talk about it with the staff team, it's a relationship with Kentucky Venues and what our goals are. We're very proud of this property. We're very proud of it. And we're proud of the one south of here at the Expo Center that has a lot of these, and thanks to the legislature and others, we will be able to make some enhancements there, hopefully in the next few months, that will really make a difference in this community. We want facilities that our colleagues are proud of, proud to be a part of, and go to work every day knowing they're doing something of value and contributing to the welfare and economic development here in this community, in this state. We're also looking to have facilities like this one that aren't just built and left here to deteriorate. Our vision is that we have a wonderful space like this and we want to continue to manage it, take care of these properties, and make the improvements necessary to always be of something of value to our clients, those that we do business with, continue to update and modify with the technology and others. So that's part of the vision, too, that we take care of these properties and we manage them well. We want to provide jobs. 
And we want to help be part of the economic engine in this community to generate jobs and enhance our economy. Every time we sell a hotel room, have a meal prepared, rent a space, bring people to our city, everyone in the Commonwealth benefits from that. And we want to be an example that as we go forward and grow the business, it's estimated that the next 12 months, we'll begin to see a 25 to 30 percent growth in our tourism business. And ladies and gentlemen, that's not by accident. Well, that's the value that every Kentuckian benefits from bringing those jobs and those opportunities to our community. So we're excited about that. We also want to be an example. We want to be an example of state government, how we can manage these properties and do good things for good people. And that's our goal. It's not that complicated. Very simple ideas, but very difficult to implement. But that's our commitment. Our board has that commitment, and our management team has that commitment. And that's something we talk with regularly with our colleagues, that we want to be that example, how we can do this and do it the right way. Thank you for being here today and sharing that recognition and that support for what we do. This time... It's this time I'm anxious to get into the program and start hearing some of our stage guests here. The first speaker is Secretary Don Parkinson, Secretary of Tourism, Marsh, and Heritage Cabinet. Over the last few months, I've had a chance to get to know the Secretary, and I really admire and respect him for his leadership. He brings to this position as a Cabinet Secretary that has over 14 agencies, Fish and Wildlife, Kentucky Heritage Historical Council, Arts and Tracks, all the different things, the state parks, that his cabinet has jurisdiction over 14 different agencies. He has time, he also serves interim president and CEO of Kentucky Beans. He's been a great partner for me, a great mentor, a man to work with the last few months in the transition. I really appreciate that. But he brings a wealth of experience from the private sector to his position in public service. He was a senior vice president for KFC and Young Brand, working nationwide with all the different franchises. He also was in charge of advertising and general motors, specifically with Buick. So he brings a lot of experience to that. A great man, a good man to work for. Please show me welcome to the podium, Secretary Don Parkinson. What a great morning in Kentucky. It's finally here after two years. It's come in on budget, on time. We can thank Secretary Lander for that and Hunt Construction. It is amazing what they have done in two years' time. It is absolutely amazing. So we're here, and we're about ready to launch into a whole new uh, era for downtown Bulls. And Wednesday, they start the first convention here. And so far, we were booked 25% of hit of where we were in, in 2015. So we're ready to grow, and tourism is such an important part of Kentucky and certainly Louisville. It's the third biggest industry in the state, and it's growing very rapidly, but it's about to grow a whole lot more quickly now that we have this place up and running again. 27,000 people in the world work in tourism, and around the state it's about 180,000. So driving tourism is critically important to all of us for jobs and for tax revenue. You've seen a lot of hotels being built here in the last two years. Like 2,300 rooms, I believe, is the last time I had. But a lot of that is being driven by this building, and it starts on Wednesday again. We can now say, and I'm going to just assert, this is the best convention center in the United States. It certainly is. Good. But when you see this place today, and you walk around, you walk to the exhibit hall with 200,000 feet of open space, and the 52 meeting rooms downstairs in this ballroom in here. This is a fourth of the whole ballroom, and you'll see the rest of it here in a few minutes. It's pretty amazing. We have the technology, we have the lighting, we have the open spaces that most convention centers don't have anywhere in the United States. A lot of people made this possible. The governor is obviously the leader of the whole thing. We had Speaker Osborne who helped get the money for it. Senate President Stivers, who can't be here today, Mayor Fisher, Dr. Mark Lynn, Chair of the uh, State Fair Board, who has been the leader of this whole thing. Karen Williams, the local tourism, who ended up paying for most of it. We appreciate that. <laughs> and Representative Higdon and, and uh, Senator Higdon. We appreciate everything you all have done to make this day come true. So on behalf of Governor Bevan, welcome to the new kick. I think as Taxpayers and the citizens, you're going to be very proud of what you see today. 
So thank you all for coming. It's going to be a fun day. Thank you, Secretary Parkinson. Uh, those partnerships are important, and we're glad that they're being represented here today. Next, it's my honor to introduce uh, Mr. William Landon III, the Secretary of the Finance uh, Administration Cabinet, uh, another man that has been tirelessly involved with, with this project. He serves on the board directors with Kentucky Green News. I've had a chance to get to know him. And the thing about this man, uh, private business owner, small business owner, but also with a 36-year military career of serving around the world. He brings a lot of financial and administrative experience to this position. Pretty much in his cabinet, anything that deals with money, budget office, revenue cabinet, uh, technology, uh, facilities, any of these different areas of state government is under his cabinet, and he brings a lot of experience. So really, it comes down to money or building. His office is involved with it, so we stay close to him and we're working with him. But I want to say this. Besides of his military expertise and his savvy when it comes to business and, and management, uh, he's committed and he's dedicated. And I watched him up close, work through the process, making sure that his property was on time and on budget. And he was always listening to things that need to be done, very responsive to the staff, and I appreciate those constant communications. Please join me in welcoming the Secretary to the podium this morning. You know, we set a completion date of 6 August 2018. And here today, I am very happy and excited to announce, thanks to more than 60 subcontractors and contractors, and at times over 400 workers being here on site. As I said before, on time and on budget, mission accomplished. Institution. This was a multifaceted project with many moving parts that were brought together that created this nationally and even worldwide recognized convention center. And finance and administration role was many sided. We were a financial partner, particularly a partner with Karen Williams in there. Thank you. We were also contracting with the Hunt Corporation. We managed the day to day activities. We worked every issue, and our partners met every challenge. And there was no magic button to success. And I will tell you, after 40 years of public service, you find a way, you overcome obstacles, and you meet mission requirements. And of all of these roles, I am so proud and happy with regard to the, the work done by the Department of Facilities and Service Support Services and their team. Commissioner Michael Burnside, your leadership has been unmatched. Jennifer Linton and Andy Casebeer, you developed the RFPs and ensured the procurement process remained on track. Paul Cable, your deliberate day in and day out management style, along with the expertise of Tony Yates, the tactical level of operations in this project was always taking new ground. Thank you all very much. Andrew Moore, as the boots on the ground guy for EOP, who saw their vision come together. And let me just say, when time is short, stakes are high, and results count, you can depend on Joe Eckhart. Joe, you found a way. You made it happen, and Hunt Construction is lucky to have you. Along with our other two primary contractors, Wittenberg and Churchill McGee, they have brought results with class, with finesse, and with speed. I just have to say, and I want to tip my hard hat to my buddy Lyndon Edwards. Let me tell you. She knows the details is what makes the final product. And there is no one, there is no one 
who can work a punch list like it. Thank you. I did my final walkthrough uh, at the end of last week, and I was able to talk and meet with each one of the skilled professionals that were working here to make this happen today. And one of the individuals that I talked to was an individual named Willie Buckner. And Willie Buckner and his cleaning team, let me just say this, they know something about detail, and congratulations, Willie, you made this place sparkle. Thank you, Willie Buckner.
turn smiling ear to ear and saying, this is magnificent. And part of the changes of this building architecturally, and Secretary Lamb and I will appreciate this because the money was tight on this. It was important to him and everybody involved that this building drew people in from an architectural standpoint and said, welcome. Much like we Kentuckians are, we're welcoming, friendly people. And that's what this building says from the outside. And then when you come inside, you just see all the ways that it celebrates our city and our state as well. So this is a big deal for our city and for our state. Yes, we've been waiting a long time, and it does show us the progress that's taken place in Louisville, but it's also part of the story of the transformation that's taken place in Louisville as well. I mean, there's undeniable evidence that our city is going through a renaissance, a renewal, unlike anything that we've said before. Some people think I'm bragging when I'm saying this kind of stuff, but remember what Muhammad Ali said, Donald. He said, if it's true, it ain't bragging. So 72,000 new jobs in seven years, 2,500 businesses, there's $13 billion of capital investment underway or announced in our city right now. Nearly a billion dollars of that is invested west of 9th Street, including the new exciting project, the track on our lead. Jim Post is helping us with. Thank you for that, Jim. More than 20 hotels are announced or under construction right now in our city. In our established hotels like the Marriott, the Hyatt, the Sealback, the Golf House, and the Brown are investing over half a billion dollars in their upgrades. Think about urbanism. The Kentucky Bourbon Trail Welcome Center and the Fraser Museum will be opening very soon as well. And at the end of this year, we will have nine urban, bourbon, micro bourbon distillery experiences in our city. You know, we're bringing in a whole new class of tourists that we've never had before. So this amazing building is one more significant sign of the work that we can do when we work together. The people in our city, the fantastic partnership that we have with the state on the thing. All of our state leaders, I want to thank Governor Bevan for his partnership on this project as well. Our economic development team from the state is over here as well. You don't get big projects like this done if people aren't working together. And that's what people want to see. They want to see results. They don't want to see victory. So this is what a world-class city does. This is the standard we set ourselves to. And this is what winning looks like, folks. Today, Louisville is no doubt a city on the rise, on the national stage, on the global stage. We're heading into the future with momentum like we've never had before, and opportunities like we've never had before. And in my view, we are just getting started. This is all possible because we've got great partners. Nobody does this alone. And so I, too, want to thank a few folks who have helped make this incredible, incredible convention center a reality. I mentioned the design. I want to thank EOP Architects and Hunt Construction for building this project. Secretary Parkinson, thank you. You get tourism like nobody else has, I think, in the history of our state. So thank you for continuing to be our champion in that regard. Secretary Lamb, this project started off a little rocky. And we were unsure. And when the timeline is this close, we're, we were unsure it was going to be finished on a project or on a budget. Well, imagine if you've got a convention coming here on Wednesday, <laughs> it's kind of important that it's done. So when we met almost uh, two years ago, Secretary Landrum said, it may not look like it right now, but we're going to have this under control. And I tell you what, a lot of people talk. And I, watch, I don't watch the lips, I watch the actions. You've done an incredible job with you and your team. So I just want to say thank you for the wonderful job that you've done. Here. Probably more importantly, your mother is here today to celebrate this as well. So mom, you did a good job. Thank you very much. Public Works, uh, Vanessa Burns and Jeff Brown, along with our friends in the Downtown Partnership, Louisville Water Company. Whenever there was a problem, the first person to get the call uh, was your old Deputy Mayor, my Chief of Staff, Ellen Hesse. Uh, Ellen takes care of business. She just wants to know what the issue is, and she goes to work to solve it. So, where's Ellen? Is she here? She's always very shy about these kind of things. She's over here, so let's throw a little love.
Think about Virginia. There were nearly four dozen subcontractors, women-owned, minority-owned, of course, among them. Iron workers did an incredible job on this facility. 2,500 construction professionals on this site and tradespeople, and they all did this safely, on time, on budget, remarkable for this short two-year window. David, guy gets his job five weeks ago. <laughs> now he's celebrating this thing. You know, so it's like, well, I kind of showed up about 10 yards away from home plate, so I'm sorry. <laughs> But a great job to you and all your predecessors at the State Fair Board. Chairman Lynn, thank you so much. Stacy, incredible leadership. We are so excited about you and your family being part of our city. This is what not sleeping for two days uh, can do to somebody. Uh, thank you for having the attention to detail. Looking forward to your leadership. Two years ago, when we decided to close all this at one time, that was a controversial decision. But it was the only way that we could get this done in a short time period that was required to get us back to business. Our local uh, businesses, restaurants, bars, hotels were like, are you guys sure you're going to be able to pull this off because it's going to hurt our business? I really want to thank 4th Street Live, all the other establishments downtown who came together and embraced this challenge with us. They, they said urbanism, we can see that on the upswing, so you've seen incredible investment in urban tourism in our city. It's the first time now we have a tourist experience, it's 365 days a year. So what could have been a real disaster for businesses in this neighborhood, it's turned out really good. And now we've got this exclamation point of this building open happening on top of that. So I want to thank all the local businesses who are obviously going to help them for decades to come. So in closing, just look around, go around the building today, keep smiling, remind people that this is our moment here in Kentucky, this is our moment here in, our, in Louisville, and when we work together, we can get anything done. So congratulations to everybody on this great, great day. Next is my opportunity to introduce a good friend, Ms. Karen Williams, President and CEO of Kentucky, excuse me, Little Tourism. I'm about to give you another name. <laughs> they just gone through the name change and that's the Little uh, Tourism. And I'm so excited about Karen and her leadership. Those of you that know Karen, she's been involved in this tourism business for over 35 years. 26 of those here in Louisville, Kentucky. So our community has benefited from her experience and expertise and look forward to continuing to benefit from that in this role. In June of uh, 2014, she was named president and CEO of the tourism group here in Louisville, uh, managing a staff of 130 individuals, both full-time and part-time individuals, a budget of over $18 million. And with it, I've seen firsthand the good work they do in marketing our city. She and her team are committed, traveling and working, making sure we're always putting our best foot forward. That's another major part of that team effort. Our sales team, their sales team, Everybody working together, sharing information, sharing data, and doing what they can to make sure Louisville and Kentucky is successful today. We really appreciate it. Let's show parent appreciation. That part of it. <laughs> a true professional and a true partner. Karen, we appreciate you and all your folks here. First, my board, the Commission of the Louisville Convention Bureau. Years ago, this board had the fortitude to move forward in supporting me as we secured financing for this beautiful building we're in today. They also supported me and our team when over two years ago I went to them and said, I have agreed, and it's the right decision, with the state and the Kentucky State Fair Board to close the building for two years. My counterparts all over the United States watched in awe and perhaps disbelief. Thank you to my commissioners. The second group I'd like to thank is the entire Louisville Tourism team. 
together. We strategically had a plan for the closing, making sure we had guests in all of the hotels, eating in the restaurants, visiting our attractions. Ladies and gentlemen, with the partnership and this true spirit of our hotels, Yum Center, Kentucky Center for the Arts, Kentucky Venues, and all of our attractions, I'm happy to say over the past two years, we were successful in that endeavor. Now, kick is open. You've heard the phrase, build it and they will come. Well, they're coming. <laughs> At the end of this week, we'll be hosting our first, our first client, which you'll hear more from Stacy. But then, right on the notes of that, we will be hosting our Client Advisory Council. 30 of the top men and women in this industry will be coming to this building to celebrate with that, with us. And then right after they leave, we had the opportunity a couple of years ago to host, to bid for Trade Show News Network. They will be coming in on Friday, and this is the top 50 shows in the United States, and they'll be honored here in Louisville. As I stated on the onset, today is a great day for Louisville and local tourism. Downtown Louisville is open for convention business. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. For the renovations of this property, the enhanced facilities, over 200,000 square feet in the one limited area for trade shows, over 40,000 square feet in one room with no columns, the capability of serving over 15,000 meals in one day. You think about all those different things. Uh, we're able to host over 95% of the conventions and trade shows in North America, and we're going after that business with your leadership, and we appreciate the opportunities for our community. <laughs> well, it's next, it's my honor and privilege to introduce the general manager, Kitty. At Stacy Church. She comes from Indiana. She got her degree in UK. Uh, she has over 10 years of professional experience in working in this industry. And in fact, Will is able to steal her from Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks to the board and their work, sharing others. Thank you for what y'all did in recruiting her to Louisville. She came to Louisville in January and she took the ground running and doing a wonderful job with her team. Uh, her husband, Nate, and be here. Jackson and Russell, they here with us today. Aren't you proud of your mom? Welcome, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful lady, provide leadership, full of enthusiasm, and really good things. And we're glad to have Stacy as part of our national team to work with us on the main day. Stacy, podium's yours. And I'm going to ask Stacy, too, uh, at the conclusion, she's got the scissors. So, besides some remarks from Stacy about the facility, I'll ask Stacy if she'll give us instructions for the ribbon cutting to the fall of the park. Stacy. Thank you, Linda. So, um, late last year, I saw an opportunity. Um, they were looking for a GM here in Louisville, and I thought, well, that looks uh, intriguing. Um, I kind of I reached out to my Colleagues and I, you know what you know about Louisville and they're undergoing a two hundred and seven million dollar renovation. Have you ever done anything like that? And most of them said no. So I said okay. I said the building's been closed for two years. I'm going to get to reopen the building. Have, have you ever done that? And most of them said no. So I said well you know uh, professionally this makes a lot of sense, right? I'm going to get to do these unique things that most of my colleagues have not had a chance to do. You can imagine, though, when I said to my husband, um, hey, what do you think about moving to Kentucky? And we had only been in Texas a year. And uh, we had told the kids that this was it, and we were building a house, and we were staying in Texas, so no worries, get comfortable. And uh, surprise, surprise, uh, we said yes, and, and here I am. So I, I came in January, and I had a small but mighty team of probably about eight people. And I thanked them and I said, you know, thank God you guys have stuck around. You've been here for a little bit um, with no center. And so we got to work. We, we started recruiting and interviewing and we built what will be a team of about 50 talented individuals. I have a full faith in them. We found great partners in Karen Williams and her team at Louisville Tourism. And I cannot say thank you enough to many of you sitting in this room who 
from the first day I got here reached out to me, expressed support, told me how excited you were for the center to reopen. Um, I can't thank the board enough. They, they put me on this pedestal, so I certainly hope I'm able to live up to the pedestal they put me on, but I'm, I'm excited to be here. Um, we've bought a house here, so for real, the kids can get comfortable. We're really staying. Um, and I'm just excited to be a part of Down My City. So Karen and her team have been great. Uh, the board has been great. David has only been here five weeks, but he's uh, super supportive, and I can tell that we have a, a similar vision. Secretary Parkinson, Secretary Landrum, they've been fabulous to me. So I, I don't want to talk too long because I want you guys to be able to uh, watch us cut the ribbon and then explore. This building has 950,000 square feet. You cannot see all of it because some of it is back at house space, but the public space is open for you to enjoy and, and explore. Our sales team is here. Um, if you are on the kick staff and you've been working over the past two days, uh, we were here this weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. I appreciate all that each of you does. And uh, that's all I have to say. Welcome to Kit. We're going to cut the ribbon. So the speakers, we're going to walk over to the ribbon. I'm going to ask you all to just turn your attention to the ribbon. We will officially reopen the Kentucky International Convention Center, and then this space will be free for you to explore. So thank you all for coming. Oh, 
Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> 